our Trader Rundown today. I'm joined by Scott Bauer, Trading Advantage on this Jobs Friday. What do you think here? You know, the market is just kind of meandering. It, mm -hmm. it honestly is. Um, can't get out of its own way. Can't decide which way to go. You know, we, we hit 20,000 on the Dow. We retreated back. You know, this is a market right now that I don't usually say this. This is a stock picker's market right now. To play the overall market, I think, is very, very difficult because, honestly, Angie, we've had every opportunity in the sun over the last weeks, couple months, for this market to just sell off. It really hasn't. Volatility is still is almost as low as it gets, not quite where we were last week. But that's why I'm saying we're just kind of like stuck in the mud here. And I think we're better off, or you know, an investor is better off looking at individual stocks rather than playing the overall market. Well, guess what? You're a trader. Let's do some <laughs> stock picking. Sounds good. Now, you mentioned United Healthcare right away. Why Why would you even look at that stock right now? You know, I was looking at all the healthcare names, just with, with everything that's been in the news and the whole sector has been in the news. Um, you know, we had earnings a couple weeks ago. We had Aetna come out, and, and these things look pretty weak. And United Healthcare, just about a week ago or so, hit a, a pretty pivotal resistance point on the upside and failed, failed miserably. So it's traded down about $4 from that area. And actually, I, I think in the near term here, over the next two, four, six weeks here, I think we get a next leg down, maybe not just in UNH, but the rest of the healthcare sector. You also say Twitter is a stock to watch. Yeah, with earnings coming out uh, next week, you know, Twitter is one of those stocks now that I think earnings almost don't matter. It's almost become a play stock, meaning is it in play, is it ripe for a takeover? You know, the the, the presidential Trump um, euphoria of using Twitter hasn't done anything, quite frankly, for the Isn't stock. Isn't that amazing? It's unreal. You know, people people think of Twitter, they think of the president, you know, it, it you would think it would be this great, unbelievable platform for the stock, for the fundamentals, hasn't done anything. That being said, it's really hard to short this stock here because there is that you know, I don't want to say concern, but there's always that news that it could be in play. And we're seeing a lot of option, People call option buying, buying calls ahead, of, ahead of earnings. Yes, ahead of earnings here. So in the short run, I think you probably get long um, Twitter going into earnings, see what happens here. Maybe they have some decent metrics. I think there's almost uh, a natural put to the downside here. I don't think there's a lot of downside here, maybe a dollar or so upside always in play and you could you could take that and and really have a position to play for some sort of buyout whether it's you know next month a year from now whenever it is thanks for your picking today <laughs> always a pleasure